So to explain the shuttle, I have to explain how the whole loom works. And here's the beater that we talked about last time. It's got a reed. The reed holds the threads at a specific spacing, which is 20 threads per inch. Then the threads go through heddles. The heddles are threaded on harnesses. This is harness one, and it has one quarter of the threads on it and you can see as the harness goes up and down the threads move with the harness. So they're threaded uh, four, three, two, one and there's 600 threads so I sat and pulled each thread through these heddles. It is the most labor-intensive part of setting up a loom. And you can see up here are the harnesses one, two, three, four, one being the harness that is closest to the, where the weaver is sitting. So the harness is attached to a lamb. These lambs uh, come out of the side of the loom and they each have a harness hooked onto them. And then the lambs are attached to a pedal. So this pedal is attached to um, three and one, harness one and three. So when I push the pedal down, one and three go down and two and four go up because this is a counterbalance loom. Here's the other side. The other pedal is attached to two and four. Two and four go down, one and three go up and it creates that space. So the space is where the shuttle goes. Um, I'm pushing the pedal. Uh, it lifts half the threads. The shuttle goes through here. I'm weaving at regular speed. Well, it's two times faster. And if I'm not careful, the shuttle, I'm just going to demonstrate, the shuttle can fall through the threads. Um, they're not solid. You can, you know, throw the shuttle a little crooked and send it down through the threads and it hits the ground and makes an awful clunking sound. So I hope that helps you understand weaving a little bit more.